Hey everybody, I'm going to show you a short video on how you can create your own Philips Hue or Signify light strip. I made this video already, I think, two years ago, and it was in Dutch, so I'm going to repeat it in English for you. Uh, a lot of people uh, watched it, so it would be nice to put it on this channel too. So I bought some stuff at uh, AliExpress, and the first thing that I bought for it was a LED strip of five meters and this is the led strip it's a five meters uh, led strip uh, pretty basic but there's one thing to see on it and that is that the leds on it are uh, colored and white leds together in one strip next to the led strip we need an rgb led controller this controller uh, controls the led strip and it is a zigbee controller so our philips u app will work with it but other apps that work with Zigbee will also work with it. So open it up. Here's the controller. On the left side there are the inputs for the voltage and on the right side there's the outputs for the LED strip. They're pretty easy. And the next thing that we need is an adapter. This one is 3 amperes. And it took uh, quite a while before it uh, came uh, to my house. I think it was like two months or so. So yeah, this is basically uh, everything that you need. So let's install the thing. Now first we're going to connect the adapter to the controller to check if the controller is working. So plug it in. And give it power. See, let's see if it powers up. Yes, it powers up, and the LED controller shows the green light. So I think everything is okay, and we can go to the next step. Plug it. We take the plug out, and we're going to install the LED strip to the controller. And on the LED strip, there's a connector there with uh, with colored uh, colored cables. And the colored cables have to be connected to the controller. And for that, I have to cut the cables so I can uh, connect them to uh, the controller. Let's do that real quick. So I stripped all the cables now and now we're going to connect the cables to the LED controller. So as you can see there's a W for white, blue, green, red and one for voltage which is the black one. Now let's connect the wires to the correct outputs corresponding to the colors. The wires are connected to the controller, as you can see, to the corresponding colors. So white, blue, green, red and black. Now let's see if it works. Let's uh, put the power plug in. And yes, it's firing up, so something is happening at the moment. So now let's see if we can uh, control it with, uh, with our phone. I'm firing up the Philips Hue app. It's in Dutch, sorry guys, but I think you get uh, the idea of it. So we're going to settings, and we're going to the light configuration, and there we're going to add a new light. Let's search for new lights. This may take a couple of seconds. And then you see the LED strip already flashing. So maybe it's already here. Sometimes you have to be a bit patient. 
scroll up and down, still searching, searching, but eventually you will find it. There, there it is. Now I click it. Let controller blinks, so that's the correct one. So it's been added. So add the controller to the to the room, save it. Now we can set the controller to on and off. And in the room there is the controller and now I can control it. But what you see now is that the colors are not the same as the colors in the app. So I might have done something wrong. Hmm. Now I'm going to yellow with colors to green. And then if I go to green it colors red. And if I go to blue it doesn't really do anything. So I think I have to check my wires again to see if uh, that changes anything. Because yellow is turning to green and green is turning to red. I think I might have to switch the green and the red wire to get it working. Let's try this and see what's happening. So check it again. This looks much better. Green is green, red is red, but blue is still not working. So there's something wrong with my blue setting. Might be that the cable is not connected correctly. So I'm going to rewire it again and see if that helps. So the blue one is in now and hey, it's firing a blue right away. That seems to work now. Yes, it's blue. And if I go to purple, it's turning purple. Red is red, green is green, yellow is yellow, blue is blue, and purple is purple, and white is white. And I can also switch between color and white, so now I have the different whites. It's a bit flickering, but it does work, and I can tell you after using this for more than a year, uh, the white is working quite fine. So everything is working. I can use the Philips Hue or the Signify app to control my new LED strip, which I bought in total for, I think, 25 euros. I think the total that I paid for it was like 25 euros. If you have to pay for a five meter Philips Hue LED strip, it will cost you a lot more. So I think uh, this is a pretty good deal. I hope this helped you all. Let me know in the comments if you got it working yourself. And if you have other ideas, maybe better ideas, um, I'm open to all suggestions. And of course, give this video a thumbs up, share it. And if you want to know more and follow me, then I would really appreciate you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye bye.